In the 1920s, you could work as an asbestos worker. Asbestos was used for insulation and fireproof, but it also could do a number on your lungs. But it wasn't until 1971 until there was success in the legal system regarding asbestos. Or you could work at GM or be exposed to tetraethyl lead, which was a substance that they were so excited to discover that kept the engines from knocking. It wasn't until like the 1980s until they discovered unleaded gas. These radium girls were women that would work to paint the dials on the glow-in-the-dark watches and clocks. They were in New Jersey and in Illinois, and they were exposed to radium, and many of them died these atrocious deaths. And these women only earned 30 cents an hour, or about $12 a week. You could be risking your life and building a skyscraper. My great-grandfather, he was a baker, and they also made $1.25 an hour, or $55 a week. All the toxins that they had to deal with were gluten.